All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Damien Sandow's career mode. Uh, there is one thing I would like to say, and I, 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 I'm pretty sure in, in one of these earlier videos, I said I wasn't going to do this. Um, but with the possible delay of WWE 2K15, uh, I might have to make this series into something a little more regular. Um, and Universe Mode may go past, or it might stop at WrestleMania. I don't know. I still don't know what's going to go on. So we're going to figure out, uh, we're going to try to figure things out before then, just as a contingency plan that 2K15 is delayed till spring, like they are rumoring it to be. So... What we're doing here is we are going to uh, do this, and what we're going to do is, oh, I wanted to randomly pick. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll customize it freely. We'll go one-on-one. -on -one. I can't, oh no, I can't randomly select? Oh, jeez. Um, okay, so here's what we'll do then. Let's go back, let's go to Customize Universe, let's go to Customize Roster, and let's go to Inactive, and we will add a Superstar. What we're going to do here is uh, select one Superstar from Raw, and one from, I don't know, just one from Raw. And we're also going to play that Superstar as well. As you can tell, I'm a little sick, I'm a little under the weather this week, and I don't have any Damien Sandow promos prepared. So we're going to just play that match, and we're going to try to work with this raw so we're just gonna choose a random person the first raw guy that's picked we will uh, we will use so we will oh god Rey Mysterio alright well I I I okay <laughs> Rey Mysterio and we have a match against Santino Morella oh jeez well here we go okay so yeah this is gonna be a career mode of both raw and smackdown Rey and uh, God, God, uh, Damian Sandow. So, we are going to do this. We're going to fight Santino Morella here in this match. And we're going to play Rey Mysterio just as a normal universe. I'm not going to make up any storylines for him. Just kind of as a buffer between the Damian Sandow stuff. And also, if, if Rey Mysterio somehow gets to be number one contender, we control that. Also, another reason I'm doing this is because I have a lot of issues in my normal universe mode with winning matches. Whenever I'm involved in a match, I lose. I suck. I can't play this game. I can watch this game very well. Can't really play the game all that well, all that much. So Rey Mysterio, you know, it's kind of funny. Uh, this is very not spoilerish, but uh, Rey Mysterio actually gets he quits in my universe mode, and uh, <laughs> and now he's here. You just can't get rid of him. You can't get rid of him. He's a little cockroach, little chihuahua as Del Rio would say. Alright, so here we go. We're playing as Rey Mysterio. I said the first Raw guy. I wasn't joking. Alright, we are going to play as Rey. Ah! Rey Mysterio is actually really fun to play as, so I'm not too upset. I think I've set these to the same similar settings as my universe mode. Uh, like, like, chair shots take a lot of damage. Finishers take a lot of damage. Uh, the reversal rate is a little higher up. So this will be a good practice for me, uh, playing Rey Mysterio on Raw and Damian Sandow on SmackDown. That's the, the problem with Damian Sandow on SmackDown is if I'm focused on winning the match or doing what I need to in the match, the commentary suffers. So I'm not even sure if I want to do, like, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I, it just feels kind of, mm. So I think I'm just going to start playing this career mode as if I was just talking to you guys, playing this game. Uh, yeah, that, that makes it a little more unique from my universe mode, a little different. Uh, like I said, this is a experimental thing, and it's going really well. It's going very well, actually, and, and I'm very happy with it. Now I just need to perfect it before 2K15, and uh, then we'll re-release it as something really great and awesome, so... That's what we're hoping to do here, is Rey Mysterio goes for the Moonsault. Oh! Yeah, so I'm a little under the weather. So, uh, well, by the time you see this, I'll, I'll be better. But there were a couple of Universe Mode, probably, episodes in there that I was uh, a little stuffed up or something. I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Uh, it's just, I've got a sore throat. And, like, I don't know, it's like my neck hurts. It's just one of those things. It's just one of those things. 
I'm not really sick. I'm not coughing. I'm not sniveling. It's just I feel I feel like there's like a bug in the back of my throat just being a jerk. And my body's like, you got to get rid of that bug. It's making your neck hurt. Trey Mysterio drop kicks Santino in the face. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how long my voice will last. So I did actually choose to record this first other than uh, NXT a couple of weeks ago. Because, yeah, this can be in a couple of weeks in advance that I'm recording this. So um, there is somebody I would like you to check out if you haven't already. If you haven't heard of these guys, these guys are two British dudes. Uh, and they and they go to college as well, so sometimes their their videos might go away for a bit. But they always come back, and they're and they're always hilarious. These guys are so funny. They don't do what I do in universe mode. What they did was they chose uh, ten guys each. I think I think they chose ten guys each to be on Team Gore and Team Perkins, and that's their name, Gore and Perkins on YouTube. So go ahead and go and find that. Uh, but it, it's really really interesting. Like, what they're doing with it. It's it's very interesting. So, like, one guy has ten people. The other guy has ten people. And, uh... Oh, I lost my comeback, damn it. And, uh... So, what they do is they play as those ten people. And that's it. That's that's what they do. And then they've got their creator wrestlers as well. And, it, I don't know. It's just very interesting. It's unique. I've never seen something like that before. Is all. So, I don't know. Go, go ahead and check their universe mode out. Because that's a really cool universe mode. And that's, that's the type of thing that I might create next year with my friends, um, if they so choose and they want to play. But we'll probably only choose one superstar. Uh, that way it's a little it's a little quicker than what they do. All right, going for the roll-up. Oh. Oh. Oh, we got him. We got him. Oh, no. Ugh. I'm going to get you, Santino. All right, let's kick out. Let's kick out. Drop kick Santino. We want to get him on the ropes. Drop kick his face. Oh, oh, damn. See, Rey Mysterio isn't all that bad to play as, but watching him wrestle is just exhausting. At least his AI. His AI is terrible. Bunch of roll ups and hurricane runners. Santino's gonna do something here. Good God. Oh, I screwed up. I screwed up. Oh. Oh, I screwed up again. He's chopping me. Oh, no. Trio Woe. Please. Please. Santino, no. Oh, I got you. I got you. You're done. You're done. Santino, wait, 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 wait. Oh, get back. Get back, Santino. Oh my god, the war. The war is on. Oh, man, I had to use my resilience. Yeah, I, I screwed that up. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. I got him. No, Santino, no. Elbow. We got him. We got him. Set him up. Set him up. Set him up. Ah, oh, I missed. Shoot. Turn him around. No. Oh, reverse Frankenstein. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Santino rolled me up. No. Oh. Oh, my God. Santino, please. Please. No. No, you motherfucker, you. Oh, you sneaky Italian bastard. Oh, no. He's trying to put me to sleep. Oh, my God. I can't lose against Santino. Oh, I got him. Pick him up. I got him. I got him. I got him. Yes. 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 No. What are you doing, you idiot? Oh, okay. All right. Come on now. We got this. No. Please, Ray. Oh, my God. I'll just do it manually. Jesus. Uh. I bet I'm, I bet I don't even need to throw him against the ropes. Because that did not work there. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was rough. Why? Oh my god, the STO. Jesus. Santino's going hardcore here. Oh, drop him. Santino, you're done. 
Ugh, throw him. Throw him. No, 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 no. Oh, you... <laughs> gotcha. I gotcha. You're done, Santino. I'm so finishing you. I'm so finishing you. Come here. Come here. Come on. Ugh. Oh, we got him. Oh, my God. It's going to be a DDT, isn't it? It's going to be stupid. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not bad. That looked pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That would look pretty cool. <laughs> look at that. Oh. Damn. All right, Santino. Let's go. No, oh, uh, well, fine. Throw me in. That's cool, too. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you... Oh, 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 reach, reach. Ray, Ray, reach. Uh, I got the ropes, ref. What do you think? I got the ropes. Oh, my God. He's gonna... He's gonna... Oh, my God. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no, 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 no. No, Santino, please. Not the headbutt. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh my god. You son of a gun. I just got worked by Santino. I shouldn't have got greedy. That was my fault. My mistake. I shouldn't have got greedy and put him through the table. I should have just hit him with one finisher. I just got beat by Santino Morella again. Again. Oh. That's heartbreaking. What a jerk. Alright, so that's enough of Monday Night Raw. See, that's practice, though. It's good practice. Rey Mysterio is going to be fun to play as. He's got a really good move set. <laughs> Alright, so AJ Lee beat Caitlyn. Uh, R Truth beat Tensai. Kofi beat Zack Ryder. Uh, Fandango beat Da Otunga. And Ziggler versus Kane, which was going to be a really good match. And Kane won. Alright, so we don't have Rey here. No. Ooh, Roman Reigns versus Kane. There's Santino, that jerk. He beat Zack Ryder, too. Daniel Bryan versus John Cena on Superstars? Start calling this main event, not Superstars. Uh, Justin Gabriel Christian. Uh, Kane versus Roman Reigns. Kane wins. Okay. Damian Sandow versus Sin Cara. Now, this is a match that we cannot, like, change because we're in a rivalry, and I don't want to screw anything up. Yeah, see, and then at the end, it's like, oh my god, it's an Extreme Rules match. Jeez. Alright, well, here we go. Sin Cara. Our old friend, I guess I could say. Like I said, I don't have any material for a Sandow promo. You know, so I don't want to screw it up. So I probably won't do one. Uh, and, and we're going to try to uh, kind of keep this light now. Not, not really do commentary, but... We're going to kind of let it go. Chicago, Illinois. Damien Sandow making his way to the ring. I've got some good promos, though, for you. I've got a lot of great things to say. And as Damien Sandow, I'm just going to, like, put in facts. You know, like, uh... Like, you know, just facts. You know, to prove that he's smarter than you. It's pretty much his gimmick right now. We've seen Kara coming out to the ring, about to get his ass kicked by Damian Sandow. The shield. Dan and Dan and Oh my god. He's crazy. Is the lighting different for SmackDown or is it the same? And it, it just like bounces off the blue differently. That's probably it. Sin Cara taking Sandow down. Let's go, boy. I'm getting worked by Sin Cara. I, I will not lose to Sin Cara. Santino at least is, you know, he was number one contender to the World Heavyweight Championship once. So... <laughs> I think he was in an elimination chamber. And he almost won. It would have been great. It would have been hilarious to see Santino Morello win. 
Oh, look at the violence, the brutality of Damien Sandow. Uh, this is a couple of weeks ahead, but what's up with Damien Sandow's new gimmick of, like, he's threatening to, like, say something on Raw? Like, with a, like, like with the microphone, he's like, I'm gonna say something rude. They're not gonna like it when I say it, and he doesn't say anything. I don't know, I guess we could use this match to talk about those things, you know? It's a, it's a once-a-week thing, I suppose. No, it's, it's already two weeks in advance. I don't want to do that. If I did one of these a week, like if I did these more frequently, I would absolutely do that. But, I, I, yeah, it's too far into the future now. I'm speaking to future yous. You're so money. Okay. It's a weird sign. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Maybe Sandow will uh, interrupt the main event tonight. It's an Extreme Rules match. Cody Rhodes versus Cesaro. That's going to be awesome. I'm probably going to watch it. Oh, no. I think someone's going to interrupt here. If you notice, if you notice in my universe mode, you'll notice here, too. You see those the crowd all looking up at the stage? Yeah, that's not a good sign. Well, it is a good sign. It means that something's about to happen. <laughs> I don't know what, but something's about to happen. Oh, Sandow. Wow. Wow. One. Two. Whoa. Not good. Ah, roll up. <laughs> wow, Sandow. Nice roll up there. Yeah, I was going to be greedy and break that pin, but then I remembered I remembered Rey Mysterio and Santino, and I was like, no, no, no. Not again. Not again. Damien Sandow rolls up and uses his power to keep Sin Cara down. Someone was going to interrupt that match, too. Damien Sandow. Rushing off the shoulders, the victory cartwheel. Defeating Sin Cara here as one half of Team Road Scholars. Looks to win the Tag Team Championships. Alright, let's go to the main event. Cesaro versus Cody Rhodes. This is going to be awesome. It's Extreme Rules. I'm excited. Christian and Great Kali versus uh, the Primetime Players, which we beat, by the way. Ah, uh, the Primetime Players one. That's too bad. Uh, Drew versus... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with 3MB here, but he Slater lost to Drew. Jinder is fighting Justin, and he lost. And, oh, there's another match. Okay, a false count anywhere. Mark Henry and Del Rio. And Del Rio beat Mark Henry. All right, so let's watch this rivalry match between Cody Rhodes and Antonio Cesaro. Let's keep the entrances off. And let's uh, watch it. Extreme Rules match. I'm excited. I'm excited. I think Cody's going to lose, but I'm still excited. <laughs> we beat Cesaro and Swagger last week. You know, I kind of, what I want to do is get stop them from being champion because maybe they'll split up and go their separate ways. I've always liked Swagger and Cesaro on their own. They were great as a team, but I, I really, really enjoyed their work as singles competitors. Swagger never really got a great opportunity. He had the swagger soaring eagle. And here we go. Cody Rhodes getting dropped by Cesaro. It's extreme rules, which means Damian Sandow can come out at any moment and kick some ass. Cesaro tried to go for that scoop slam, got dropped. By Cody Rhodes. Nice power slam there. Yikes. See, it's scary. If you look at the crowd during these matches, like, there's slight glitches. There's, like, a moment where a, it, like, it feels like it skips a frame. Time skips a beat, almost. And that's when you know something might happen. Uh, the crowd's not looking at the stage yet. But, uh, I don't know. It's a rivalry match. Something's going to happen. As Cody Rhodes goes to the top. I don't think he meant to do that. But Moonsault. Good God. What the hell happened there? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What the hell happened here? Okay. So he did the scoop slam. And then he grabbed him, right? To go for the the knee. Like, right? Okay. So then he ran. But he ran into the corner. So he jumped. Okay. So here we go. Let's actually 
Let's actually get a better angle on this here. Okay. Okay, so we've got Cody Rhodes here, and he's about to doing moonsault. But, oh my god, what... <laughs> what the hell happened here? Oh my god. Oh my god, Cesaro broke his foot. Um, no, so what happened here? Why did he move? Okay, he was so... <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god, this game is so broken. Ew, ew. Alright, so pretty much Cody Rhodes missed. It was a glitch. That's hilarious. Alright. Oh, man. The things you notice in this game. Again, go watch Gore and Perkins. They do that all the time. It's it, the slightest mess up. They'll replay it like that. It's 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 just so good. One of the things I don't get to do because I, you know, my universe mode. You know who I can't wait to actually see come up and actually fight and wrestle? Sami Zayn. I want to see Sami Zayn on the main roster. You know, he's a pretty old, he's like an older guy. He's about the same age, I think, as Daniel Bryan. He's been doing it for the same amount of years, too. He's been doing a very good job of it. But, you know, he's just he's just stuck on NXT. And I, I like him on NXT, but I want him to do more than that. Cody Rhodes getting caught by Cesaro. Cesaro. Oh, dear. They're brawling on the outside. Cesaro, big boot to the side of the head. Going for a weapon now. A sledgehammer, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I think he dropped... Oh, it's still there, though. It's still there, though. Cody Rhodes throwing Cesaro back in. Grab that sledgehammer. Get the sledge. Get sledgy. Oh my god. So, a little update, I guess. This is this is super out of date, so it, it's not... It's not weird how that works. If you talk about something that's way old, it's not in spoiler region anymore, or... Or, uh, you're, it's like it's so late that it's still, it's okay to talk about. Okay, so anyway. So, as you know, I'm going through the WWE Network watching the, uh, the old pay-per-views. And, and if, here's a tip, by the way. If you're British or if you're from anywhere but America and you can't watch the network, I think all you have to do is, um, change what country you're from. I th just lie. And pay your $10, and I think it works. So, if you haven't been getting the network because of that, Go ahead and get it, and I'm pretty sure they would. I'm sure that they would open it up to the world, pretty soon. Like it just it makes sense. But but anyway, I'm getting rambly. So here we go. So I am watching all the pay-per-views from the Survivor Series of 1997 all the way till now, and I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to watch all the pay-per-views. I would watch all the Raws in between as well, but they don't have those up yet. They do have snippets of clips here and there, and you'd have to piece them together. And I don't really feel like doing that. Uh, and I'm not really a big fan of Monday Night Raw in the late 90s anyway. I, I've watched quite a bit of those uh, through my Comcast On Demand service. But, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm on to, I'm almost, not to WrestleMania, but I'm almost to rock bottom in 1998. And right now I'm seeing the formation of the corporation with Vince McMahon, Big Boss Man. They're about to add Ken Shamrock into the mix here. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin is great. Like, seriously, I, I guarantee Punk could have been the same had it not been for the PG-ish era. You know, the PG era does hold these players back a bit, but I will also say that I do kind of like the PG era a bit more for different reasons, because I can watch it with my nephew. So, like, it's kind of like a give and take. What do we do here as Cody Rhodes is going to Alabama slam? Good God. Ow. Alabama slam right onto the baseball bat. Um, you know, I, I would love to watch wrestling with my nephew. It's why I don't watch TNA. It's why I don't w allow him to watch TNA. Is because it's so like vulgar, and it's just like re it's like really vulgar all the time. Like I understand that I'm a vulgar person, but I don't really want my nephew to be watching TNA when he could easily be watching, you know, WWE. So that's that's what's going on. Uh, they've got so many great gimmicks, though. I mean, Al Snow, head, that's, it's a dirty joke, but it's hilarious. It's funny every single time. Val Venus, as, as so unimportant as he was in the WWE, the guy was a good wrestler, the gimmick was great, and it got people on their feet. And I, here's one thing, I, here's one thing I don't hear at pay-per-views. Uh, I don't hear people being quiet. I guess, I guess I should say, 
I hear people. That's a good thing. I hear people boo. I hear people say D'Lo Brown sucks. I hear people say Gold Dust. Let's go Gold Dust chance against Valvinas. You know, it's 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 amazing. It's amazing. Well, right now in WWE, if we had a pay per view and if it was Santino and Emma versus Fandango and Layla, it it would it would be boring and no one would care because no one is supposed to and most of them are kids and they don't understand or they or they don't care either they get tired so like i don't know it's like how did it change so quickly what when did it change so i'm actually it's cool to have the wwe network and actually see the change happening before my eyes like you you look at stone cold steve austin as the wwe champion and you go in 15 years Daniel Bryan holds that same championship. How? It's gonna, it's gonna, it's, I don't know, it's interesting. I would rant about Daniel Bryan, but it's been two weeks. I mean, the, the, the only thing I know right now is that he had neck surgery. I don't know if he, uh, got stripped of the titles or not, so I'm not gonna really talk about it, but it's just interesting. One, two, oh, three, damn it. Nothing happened during that match. I hope something happens after it, as Cesaro kicks Cody's ass. Wow. Come on, something cool. Oh, he's going to shake it. Don't shake his hand, Cody. Don't. Oh, I was going to say, don't you dare shake his hand. Cody Rhodes not shaking the hand of Cesaro. How is this going to affect their rivalry? All right, so that was good. You know, it's good to talk about some of that stuff and get it off my chest. I really like this, this new type away that we're going here I thought I thought it was a little more easy going uh, let's see tensions are rising as Cesaro and Swagger head towards their title match against Cody and Damian Sandow uh, dot 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 okay the title match between Del Rio and Mark Henry is quickly becoming personal well what's the rivalries at again it's been a, it's been probably about a month since I've recorded some of these I recorded quite a bit uh, from at the beginning of this series so uh, we got Cena versus Ziggler Kofi and Zack Ryder, Fandango and David Otunga, and then us for the NXT Tag Team Championships. Uh, Justin Gabriel and Jinder, Del Rio and Mark Henry for the cool-looking WWF Championship that uh, that I'm that just debuted on the network for me. Uh, so uh, we're Rey Mysterio, and we don't have a match. <laughs> Why don't we have a match? Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to interfere and let Seth Rollins destroy Santino. I'm so tempted to. Santino's a jackass, man. What a jerk. So we'll figure that out next week. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the career of Damian Sandow. Hopefully, by the time I record... I'll probably record another episode right now because I feel like... Well, mm, no, I think I'll wait. I think I'll wait. But hopefully next time you hear me, my voice isn't all uh, uh, disgusting and stuff. So... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Derek D. Ginger King checking out. And please remember to go check out Goran Perkins. They are doing excellent work on their channel. And uh, let them know that uh, they found you, that you found them through me. Because, you know, it's kind of a reverse advertising thing. If they go, oh, this guy recommended us, really. And then they go to my channel, they see my stuff, and maybe they're impressed. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Derek D. Ginger King checking out.